Greetings Nimrods. So we're out in the lead shed and we're going to do another installment on Nimrods Reloading 101 series. Today we're going to talk about uh, why reload. So why do we reload? And again this is Reloading 101. We're not going to get into hunting loads and that's one reason to reload. But So why reload target loads? Uh, some people do it for money. Uh, you do save a little bit of money but um, you know you, there's all kinds of uh, calculators on the on the interweb you can look at that would tell you how to how to calculate your savings and um, you, you can definitely save money uh, but if you charge for your time and you know if you make hundreds of dollars an hour like I do it's probably not worth it I mean you can you can uh, work an extra couple hours and buy a whole lot of shells but we like reloading reloading is a good way to pass the time people leave us alone when reloading they're free to the lid you know so kids and the wife will leave you alone and you, you can you can uh, spend some time uh, with your thoughts and and uh, with your hobby so that's one reason to reload uh, and yeah you do save a little bit of money but again uh, the main reason I reload is because I can make target shells that you really can't buy I, I make 7 8 ounce loads uh, that shoot about 1300 feet per second so they're fast so you can use small shot and it'll still impact you know for sporting clays I can use number nine shot and I don't really feel like I'm, I'm suffering uh, on longer shots with it because it's going faster than a regular target load um, and you know you save some lead too that's another thing leads the biggest expense really uh, so that is uh, uh, the main reason I do that is I make these really soft shooting loads. Uh, so there's seven eight ounce, which helps, and they're also you use a quality powder that burns slower than what you know a cheap target load would have in it, and you have a nice soft shooting round that you can you can shoot a lot more of without um, without developing a flinch or having to deal with a recoil. I mean you know regular target loads not you know compared to a hunting loads is nothing, but still but it adds up. Um, and yeah, you can buy um, light handicap loads or whatever you don't want to call them, uh, but they're expensive and they're hard to find. You know, so you know you want to spend ten dollars a box, go right ahead. But you know, you can make the same thing for less than five dollars a box, and uh, it's having fun doing it. So that's why I reload for target loads. You know, obviously I make hunting loads, but uh, that's a discussion for another day. So couple other things that I want to go over real quickly before we start getting into components and stuff and that is a couple things you will need to have before you start reloading it and one of them <clears throat> the most important thing probably is information so as you know I don't like to dispense uh, the recipes when I'm you know I've got lots of videos out there on reloading but I don't ever tell you exactly how many grains of powder what powder necessarily I'm using because I want you to look it up I don't want you to rely on me to tell you something and you maybe I'm tired or something and I tell you the wrong thing and you know, gun blows up in your face and you're mad at Nimrod we don't want to go there plus it's also published data you know I paid for this book you know somebody took the time to make this book we should probably pay them and if you don't want to pay them then you can go online to uh, the, the uh, Alliant has a great website for their powder that, that has a lot of reloads uh, as well does Hodgson's and I'm sure the other powder manufacturers may but those are the two I generally use and they have great information they also have great uh, at least with Alliant I, I you know I one time I emailed a question and they got an answer back to me and uh, very quickly and you know so they have good customer service too so those are resources I, I recommend you use but I do recommend that you find real um, real data and you know read the Lyman book you know if you get it because it's got a lot of information you should know uh, before you start to reload you're not going to get it all by watching videos um, it, it's something you should do so if you're going to read one book get, get the Lyman book uh, there's tons of books out there and I've read tons of books and I can tell you this this is the one if you're going to get one book that's the one to get um, the other thing I, I tend to do is I, I you know, I'll keep a binder with all, all my different loads in it so that I know what I've done in the past and how that works it's good to, to keep track of the things you've done um, the other thing you must have before you reload is a scale and a good scale you do want to measure your powder drops uh, especially when you start and once you get some rhythm going you should check them again because you know as you're rattling the machine around uh, it, it will change the powder drop um, 
and if you go by the bushing tables in the Lyman book or any other uh, data or online, you, you look at the mech bushing, uh, you know, they, they'll have a, they'll tell you what, what, uh, what bushings will drop what, of what powder, and they are wrong. Um, they're not completely wrong, but they're, they're not accurate. Uh, the batch has changed lot to lot, I think, and, uh, you know, if you look at the published amount of grains they're going to drop, they're, they're off a little bit. So you really do need to check, um, especially when you start to make sure you're, you're, you're making the load that you're, you're trying to. Um, the shot, you're going to have less of a, uh, an option. You know, I can't change this bar if I wanted to. You know, the, the, the diameter of that hole is the diameter of that hole. I know that this this is an uh, ounce and an eighth bar, and it is dropping two grains less than an ounce, which is not a big deal, but I know it now, um, just the way it is. Uh, different size shot's going to di drop differently through that bar. So do use a scale. Do measure your powder charges. Do make sure you're making the load you think you're making, and that way you can be safe. So we'll get into components shortly in the next couple of videos, so make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss the next video on, on Nimrod's Reloading 101. So hit that notification button, subscribe, share this video. Anybody you think might like to learn about reloading, uh, we have also lots of other great videos out there. And uh, like the video, give it a big thumbs up if you like it, give it a big thumbs down if you don't, and give it a big thumbs up if you do. If you want to give it a get a couple thumbs downs every so often and figure the Democrats or something. I don't know. But hey, happy hunting Nimrods.